Welcome to how it's done. Wait, what's that? 3D in CapCut. Yes, you have heard it right. CapCut has finally released this 3D screen movement feature. People have been waiting for this feature. Today I will show you how to create this effect. So let's get started. My clip is in the library. I am going to drag it onto the timeline. I will set the ratio to 16 to 9 in the video player. Now go to the effects tab. Then type in the search bar player 3, it's the first one. Drag it above the clip in timeline. Then extend it to match the clip. Now you can see in the video player the black rectangle, so we need to get rid of that. So go on the right side set the glow and texture settings to zero. If you move the play heading timeline, at the start of the effect you'll notice a fade in. We don't want that. To fix it go to the point where the fade in ends. But don't move the play head, and now we are going to duplicate the clip. You can hold on Alt and click on the clip. To duplicate the clip, then drag it to the beginning. Decrease the length of the clip. Then move it down in timeline. We are going to add key frames. But first I have to make the player 3 effect length is same as the clip in timeline. Move the play head in timeline little and add the first key frame. Then move the play head in timeline and rotate the clip. I will rotate it to 81 degrees. As you can see in the video player the black edges around the clip, we'll fix that later. Move the play head and adjust the size, also horizontal position to create a zoom in effect. Then move the play head forward again in timeline and rotate the clip in the video player in the opposite direction. Again go to the timeline and move the play head to the end. We're going to set the rotation and size back to default, so the movement flows smoothly. I will play the rotation in video player now. The 3D rotation looks good. Move the play head to the split point where the duplicated clip ends. Select all layers in timeline, press Ctrl plus A. Then right-click and create a compound clip. Then press Ctrl plus B to split it and hit backspace and delete that small part. Now time for the final trick, fixing those black edges. So first add a transform keyframe at the start. Then move the play head to the end of the first rotation and zoom in just enough to hide the edges. I will be repeating the same process zooming in and out and adding keyframes. We are done adding keyframes. Now I will play the clip. I hope you have learned some new tricks to take your edits to the next level. And don't forget to click those simple buttons under the video. If you don't know how to keyframe in CapCut, you can watch this.